Hi, my name is Cosimo Pecchioli and I'm with Alpha Laval Data Center Schooling Solutions. And today we talk again about fouling and shear stress in plate and frame heat exchangers. With a short video that I hope will clarify these two concepts and why they are so important. This is a plate in a plate and frame heat exchanger. And over time, particularly if you run the heat exchanger at the reduced flow or your liquid is very dirty, you experience build up on the surface of your plate that is called fouling. It comes without saying that fouling is negative. It makes the heat transfer from the two sides of the plate harder, reducing the heat transfer efficiency and naturally clogs the channels, increasing the pressure drop. That is a vicious cycle because once that the channel is partially obstructed, you will have lower velocity through that channel, which in turn means that more fouling to the point that the channel is completely clogged. So how can I reduce this risk? Well, if you keep operating at the heat transfer at the lower capacity, the flow through the channel doesn't have enough sweeping effect to self-clean. That is the concept of shear stress. The higher the shear stress is, the higher the sweeping effect. So here you have the heat exchanger running at the reduced capacity and as you can see, not much changes. And here is what happens if you run the heat exchanger at full capacity. I hope you understand that of course this is only a representation. You don't have flour in the heat exchanger. But it's just to show you what happens over time with the build up of material and fouling and how that can be not easily but can be prevented if you design your system in a way that the heat exchanger runs at full capacity as long as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.